Australia is about to finish five mega projects so huge, the final one will redefine the country for a century. In this video, we are going to look at the five major developments set to reshape Australia in 2026. These upgrades, from massive rail networks to a groundbreaking international airport, are engineering feats that signal a new era of national growth. Each project builds toward the biggest reveal at number one, a development that will alter Australia's future forever. Number five, New Midland Station, Western Australia. The New Midland Station is emerging as the final defining piece of Perth's growing Metronet expansion. Construction began in 2021, and by late 2025, the entire precinct had transitioned from heavy works to its last rounds of detailed testing, safety checks, and final commissioning. The station is preparing for its highly anticipated opening on February 22, 2026, marking a major milestone for the city's eastern corridor. This project is far more significant than simply modernizing an old facility. For decades, the original Midland Station served as a key terminal for suburban commuters. Yet as the region rapidly expanded, that decades-old structure no longer met the needs of a growing population. It struggled with outdated layouts, limited accessibility, and infrastructure that was never designed to support modern passenger flows or future demand. The new station addresses these long-standing issues by offering a streamlined design, improved accessibility, wider platforms, and better integration with local transit systems. One of the most striking features is how quickly the entire precinct has taken shape. In just a few short years, the construction site transformed from an empty stretch of land and older buildings into a fully developed transport hub. The new bus interchange, updated pedestrian pathways, cycling routes, and surrounding landscaping all came together at remarkable speed. The precinct was shaped to provide easier transfers between buses and trains, reducing congestion and improving the movement of commuters who rely on public transport every day. What adds another layer of surprise is the station's influence on future regional development. Its location and structure support new commercial activity, residential growth, and improved local access to Perth's wider rail system. The transformation shows how even a single station, when properly planned, can lift an entire district into a new phase of connectivity and economic potential. But the biggest twist is not the station itself, it's what it connects to. The next project demonstrates just how massive Australia's push toward next-generation rail networks has become. How much can one new station actually change a city? The answer is far more than most people imagine. Number 4. Metro Tunnel. Melbourne, Victoria. Melbourne's Metro Tunnel, a gigantic undertaking that began in 2017, has evolved into one of the most transformative rail projects in Australia's history. With a price tag of roughly $12 billion and twin 9-kilometer tunnels carved deep beneath the inner city, this project aims to fundamentally rewrite the logic of how Melbourne's trains operate. For decades, the city's rail network has been shaped around a single congested city loop. At peak hours, this loop absorbed overwhelming volumes of passengers, limiting service frequency and slowing the entire system. The Metro Tunnel solves that long-standing problem by introducing a new parallel tunnel route that allows trains to bypass the loop entirely. Instead of funneling everything through the same bottleneck, the system now moves across the city like a true metro network, distributing passengers more evenly and unlocking new capacity. By July 2025, test trains were already running through all five new underground stations, State Library, Town Hall, Anzac, Arden, and Parkville. These stations were designed not simply as transport points, but as architectural landmarks, each featuring large, visually striking platform spaces, extended escalators, deep shafts, and advanced safety systems. Engineers and urban planners intended the stations to reflect Melbourne's evolving identity, blending design, efficiency, and resilience in equal measure. One of the most surprising facts is how this tunnel is expected to increase the city's rail capacity. Freeing the network from the old choke points means more frequent trains, reduced wait times, and a faster overall commuting experience. Peak hour reliability, one of Melbourne's biggest transport challenges, is expected to see major improvements. And yet, despite the enormous scale of the Metro Tunnel, it isn't the most ambitious underground rail project on this list. 
because to find that, we have to travel north, where engineers have built something that tunnels directly beneath a major river. If Melbourne is digging deeper, Brisbane is digging right underneath its heart. Number three, Cross River Rail, Brisbane, Queensland. Cross River Rail stands as Brisbane's bold answer to congestion and future mobility. Construction began in 2019, and the project includes a 10.2-kilometer rail corridor with 5.9 kilometers of twin tunnels running directly beneath the Brisbane River and the Central Business District. For decades, engineers believed that tunneling underneath this section of the city would be nearly impossible because of the combination of unstable geology, deep riverbeds, and high flood risk. Yet, through years of planning, heavy civil work, and innovative engineering solutions, the project pushed forward. By November 2025, the line had entered its final stage of testing. Station fit-outs were being completed, technology systems were powered on, and test operations were underway for a full passenger service expected to launch in 2026. The new underground stations, located at places like Wollongaba and Albert Street, represent Brisbane's first major expansion into deep-level rail infrastructure. These stations add crucial capacity to the wider network and create opportunities for denser development in previously disconnected areas. One of the most shocking revelations about Cross River Rail is the fact that before this project, Brisbane had only one heavy rail river crossing, the Merival Bridge, which opened more than a century ago. Every train traveling north or south of the city had to pass through the same narrow bridge, creating one of the most severe bottlenecks in Australia's transport system. Cross River Rail immediately doubles this capacity, allowing more trains to run and enabling future expansions that were previously impossible. This project doesn't just relieve pressure on the network, it redefines how Brisbane will grow and develop over the next several decades. New precincts around stations are expected to bring in businesses, apartments, and cultural spaces. Travel times will shorten, congestion will ease, and the overall reliability of Southeast Queensland's public transport will improve dramatically. Yet, as large as this engineering effort is, our next project dwarfs it in scale. Because instead of moving people beneath a river, it's designed to move freight across nearly half the continent. What if one rail line could change how goods move across three major states? Number two, Inland Rail, Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland. Inland Rail stands as one of Australia's most ambitious freight transport undertakings in the modern era, a project conceived to transform how goods move across the eastern states. Launched in 2018, it stretches across an impressive one, 700-kilometer corridor, weaving through Victoria, New South Wales, and deep into Queensland. The goal is both bold and practical, to establish a direct, high-capacity freight route linking Melbourne and Brisbane while avoiding the slower, heavily congested coastal lines that have long limited freight efficiency. As one of the largest infrastructure investments in the nation's history, Inland Rail represents a decisive shift toward a faster, more resilient, and more competitive logistics network. By January 2026, the program had progressed through multiple critical phases of construction, marking significant achievements across several states. Numerous segments of the alignment had either been completed or were drawing close to final handover, showcasing steady momentum behind the effort. Complex engineering work such as bridges, tunnels, viaducts, drainage systems, and large-scale embankments were advancing simultaneously. Track-laying teams continued to push northward and southward from key junction points, gradually stitching together the continuous freight corridor. As the project approached a major 2026 milestone, entire regions along the route were beginning to feel the early economic effects of this vast infrastructure investment. For many communities, Inland Rail represents far more than a railway. It is a catalyst for long-term economic renewal, unlocking new opportunities for industry, agriculture, transport, and regional development. The core idea behind Inland Rail is simple yet transformative. By providing a straighter, smoother, and more technically capable rail path, freight trains will be able to travel from Melbourne to Brisbane in under 24 hours, dramatically cutting the journey time currently required using coastal routes. This reduction in transit hours translates directly into lower shipping costs, improved reliability, and a stronger competitive edge for businesses moving goods across the country. 
The design also accommodates longer and heavier freight trains that cannot operate efficiently on existing coastal infrastructure. This enhancement allows the freight network to handle greater volumes, adapt to future demand, and reduce pressure on Australia's highway system by shifting more cargo from trucks to rails. One of the project's lesser-known yet highly significant aspects is its impact on employment and industry capability. At its peak, Inland Rail is expected to support roughly 16,000 direct and indirect jobs, spanning construction workers, engineers, suppliers, manufacturers, and local businesses that benefit from increased activity. This makes it one of the most substantial employment generators ever associated with an Australian transport project. Beyond the immediate construction phase, its long-term influence is expected to reshape supply chains, strengthen agricultural export routes, boost manufacturing access to ports, and support sustained regional economic expansion for decades to come. Yet despite the staggering scale, cost, and national impact of inland rail, it does not claim the number one position on the list. That distinction belongs to an aviation megaproject even more ambitious in vision, one that is poised to redefine Sydney's future for the next century. Rail projects can revolutionize logistics, but this next development reshapes the identity, capability, and global presence of an entire region. Number one, Western Sydney International Airport, Nancy Bird Walton. At the very top of this countdown stands the Western Sydney International Airport, a monumental undertaking widely considered one of the most important infrastructure achievements in Australia's modern history. Construction began in 2018, and by mid-2025, the project had reached significant structural completion. With a cost hovering around $11 billion, this airport has been engineered to act as the main catalyst for a far larger transformation in Western Sydney. Its 3.7-kilometer runway, expansive terminal structure, and vast support systems are all carefully designed to reshape not just how people travel, but how an entire region evolves in the decades ahead. This airport is unlike anything Western Sydney has ever seen. For generations, the region relied almost entirely on Sydney's existing Kingsford Smith Airport, an airport located near the coastline and heavily constrained by residential areas, limited runway space, and strict curfews. As passenger numbers climbed year after year, the need for a second major aviation hub became unavoidable. Western Sydney International is positioned to solve that problem while creating space for future expansion, new commercial activity, and a long-term rebalancing of the city's aviation load. When it opens in 2026, the airport will initially be able to accommodate more than 10 million passengers each year, but its design allows for growth far beyond that number. One of the most striking aspects of the project is the sheer size of the runway. At 3.7 kilometers long, it is capable of handling some of the world's largest commercial aircraft, including long-haul jets that allow for international flights to reach distant destinations around the globe. Engineers and architects design the runway surface, lighting systems, drainage networks, and navigation technology to support high-efficiency operations. The terminal itself features advanced passenger screening systems, automated check-in processes, and digital infrastructure built to reduce congestion and improve the overall travel experience. But the airport's influence stretches far beyond aviation. It serves as the anchor for what is being called the Western Sydney Aerotropolis, a massive new economic district being developed south of the main terminal. This emerging hub is expected to house advanced manufacturing facilities, logistics centers, research institutions, commercial zones, and innovative technology companies. Over time, the Aerotropolis is projected to become a second powerhouse economy for Sydney, complementing the already established CBD and providing new opportunities for employment, investment, and international connections. What many people underestimate is the role this airport will play in relieving pressure from Kingsford Smith Airport. For decades, Kingsford Smith has operated under strict curfew laws that limit takeoffs and landings during overnight hours, impacting capacity and flexibility. Western Sydney International is designed to operate without a curfew, creating more freedom, more flight options, and more aviation resilience. This capability ensures that Sydney remains competitive as global tourism grows and international trade continues to evolve. 
the airport represents an essential step in ensuring that Australia remains fully connected to a rapidly changing world. The completion of this project in 2026 is not simply a milestone for transportation, but a turning point for the country's broader economic future. It symbolizes the rise of Western Sydney as an equal partner to the traditional centers of commerce and population. As the airport becomes fully operational, and as supporting infrastructure such as road links and future rail connections expand, the region will experience one of the most dramatic transformations in its history. With this airport, Australia steps confidently into a new chapter of global competitiveness, embracing a future where mobility, innovation and regional growth converge. Australia's infrastructure surge in 2026 marks one of the most significant periods of national development in recent memory. These five mega-projects reflect the country's determination to invest in long-term solutions that will shape the everyday lives of millions. They represent improved transportation options, new economic districts, enhanced freight capabilities, and stronger links between cities and regions. Through these efforts, Australia is preparing to meet the challenges of population growth, global competition, and changing economic dynamics. Each project in this countdown plays a unique role in the nation's future. The new Midland Station brings renewed connectivity to Perth's east, giving commuters a modern, accessible hub that supports regional growth. The Metro Tunnel in Melbourne fundamentally rewrites the city's rail logic by eliminating bottlenecks and unlocking faster, more reliable train services. Cross River Rail in Brisbane finally solves the long-standing problem of the city's limited river crossings, doubling heavy rail capacity and preparing the network for future expansions. Inland Rail introduces a revolutionary freight corridor stretching across three major states, ensuring that goods move faster, cheaper, and more efficiently than ever before. And at the top, Western Sydney International Airport sets the stage for a century of aviation evolution, regional development, and global integration. As these projects reach completion in 2026, Australia will witness a noticeable shift in how people travel, how businesses operate, and how communities are connected. The effects will not be short-lived. Instead, they will ripple across generations, influencing where people choose to live, how industries expand, and how the country competes on the global stage. Every kilometer of track laid, every station built, and every runway surfaced contributes to a broader vision of an Australia that moves with greater speed, efficiency, and ambition. While the nation continues to navigate changing economic conditions, technological advancements, and shifting population trends, these mega-projects serve as crucial anchors for stability and progress. They are reminders that long-term planning and strategic investment can shape a thriving future and they demonstrate Australia's willingness to embrace bold, complex and large-scale visions that lift the entire country forward. As Australia's wave of mega-projects peaks in 2026, the nation is not just expanding infrastructure, it is shaping a new era of growth, opportunity and global relevance. Enhanced transport systems, streamlined freight routes and vibrant economic hubs are laying the foundation for decades of prosperity. These ambitious developments will touch every aspect of daily life, from faster commutes to thriving regional centers, reflecting a nation embracing transformative progress with confidence. By improving connectivity, resilience and innovation, Australia is building momentum that will influence its growth well into the next century. If you enjoyed this look at Australia's future, like, share, comment and subscribe. Which mega project do you think will have the biggest impact?